What is going on guys? This is Daniel. And for those of you unaware, the Eurobasket Championships are happening right now. It's a very high level of basketball. And Lithuania stood out as they had Jonas Valanciunas and Donatis Motiunas, two skilled bigs. And when they played together, they coexisted well for the most part. And I made the connection of how the Pelicans also have two skilled bigs, Davis and Cousins. And they can learn from Lithuania in terms of how to use the two bigs effectively on offense. Cousins played 17 games for the Pelicans last year, and offensively, it went very poorly. They had a 102.5 offensive rating with him on the floor, and for a full season, it would be ranked 26th in the league. And in the minutes Cousins and Davis played together, they had the same poor offensive rating. Their defense was good with or without Cousins. The issue was the offense. Let's get to it. Lithuania put an emphasis on the offensive class, while in comparison, the Pelicans offensive rebound rate for the whole season last year was 29th in the league. Both Valanciunas and Motiunas look for every opportunity to crash the glass, so here, Motiunas is standing on the perimeter, but when he sees a shot is about to go up, he crashes in and tips the rebound to a teammate. Boogie in particular had way too many instances like this where he's backpedaling on defense already, not getting in position to get the rebound. One of his favorite spots on the court is the top of the arc, partly because of his mediocre conditioning, so that allows him to get back on defense easier, but the top of the arc is the worst position to get an offensive rebound. If he's going to be behind the three-point line, he should be on the opposite wing, switched with Holiday. That would allow him to crash and get to that opposite block when the shot goes up. The Lithuanian wings also crash the offensive glass, and this is a good crash, a three and an opposite side attack to get the rebound. Again on a three, a Lithuanian wing will crash the offensive glass, and here he gets the putback. And while I don't suspect the Pelicans will crash their wings much, they did just sign Tony Allen, who's an excellent offensive rebounder, and if they decide to muck it up with their two big men and guys like Tony Allen, this is a good way to go. Get the rebounds and play a tough physical brand of basketball. Moving on to pick and roll play, and Lithuania did a great job of getting it to Valanciunas immediately after a pick and roll. So pick and roll, ball goes on top, and then they look to get the high low with Valanciunas ducking in, sealing for position, and here he scores. The ball is reversed to the top, and right away Valanciunas looks to get it inside. Here Motiunas decides to drive, and that's fine too. It results in an open three, and Valanciunas is crashing the glass hard. Boogie is perfect for this, particularly since they switch a lot in the NBA. So here the Thunder will switch the pick and roll, and Boogie immediately goes to that opposite block, seals off the smaller defender who has no chance when the Pelicans execute well and get it to Boogie right away. This time, the point guard doesn't have to throw it out top. He's able to get it to Valanciunas right away off the pick and roll, ducking in. And then, I love this, Moti Yunus is crashing in from the top hard when he sees Valanciunas is about to shoot. And this is the type of effort on the offensive glass that is key. Let's watch this play again and first imagine Davis flying in like Moti Yunus did. And also recognize that there was a switch. Demo saw that a smaller defender was on him, which made him inclined to go hard on the glass. I like how Lithuania ran some pick and roll sets where the high low is the primary option. So here Motiunis sets the ball screen, and the ball goes to Valanciunis, and his first look is to Motiunis rolling to the rim. Here it's not open, so it's nice that they have an immediate dribble pitch, and this is good offense. Another key concept is during a pick and roll have one big screen the ball and the other set an off ball screen. That's what happens here as Moti Yunus sets a back screen while the pick and roll is happening. This is tough to defend and here the guard gets it on the cut and a nice ball movement sequence is created. Definite, 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 definite. 
Again, Lithuania runs this play, though the off-ball screen doesn't have to be in a set play, and you can see why it's so effective. So, Montiunis' man is going to bump the pick and roll, that's his responsibility. But because he's doing that, he can't help on the back screen, which leaves the cutter open. Here though, the point guard decides to take matters into his own hands and scores himself. New Orleans should look to implement screens during the pick and roll. But you can keep it simple and one way is to have one big man on the strong side block. So Valanciunas is rolling in the pick and roll here and Motiunas moves to the strong side block getting out of Valanciunas' way and becoming a target for a pass and this gets a dunk for Valanciunas here. Looking at this play again, and the reason getting to the strong side block is so important is because if Motiunis stayed on the opposite block, that defender would be able to get in both of their ways. By getting to the strong side block, that defender has to make a choice. Here he stays with Motiunis, which frees up Valanciunas. Last year with Cousins and Davis, the Pelicans mostly ran the pick and roll four out, and that's fine, but it does decrease the offensive rebounding if Davis is standing out on the perimeter. Let's talk about post-ups, and whichever Lithuanian big isn't posting up, the other will go to the opposite block to get in good rebounding position, which Valanciunas does here. Valanciunas will start at the foul line and then make his way down to crash the glass on the post-up. And they get creative. On the Valanciunas post-up, there's a split with Motiunas setting a screen for a guard to possibly get an open shot, and then Motiunas, after setting the screen, is going to the rim to get in rebounding position, and this just opens up things for Valanciunas. The Pelicans did crash some on post-ups, and here Davis starts at the baseline to crash and get in position, and this is great, and he gets the putback. But there were also plays like this, where Davis is posting up, and Boogie is behind the three-point line in no position to crash the glass from the weak side. Having one big man posting up and the other big man on the opposite block also opens up passing opportunities from big to big. So here it's going to be a demo post up and Valanciunas creates position on the opposite block where he can get the rebound or here demo finds him on the pass. This time it's demo on the opposite block and him just being there creates these nice passing opportunities. Well, there you have it guys. This is an enormous season for the Pelicans and there are things they can do on offense to help them win more games. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you learned some stuff about how two bigs can coexist together and also some stuff about crashing the glass. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.